guys, in today's video, I have a ton of skincare and hair care empties to share with you guys. Um, all of my trash that I've been holding on to for the past several months. I am gonna share with you guys everything except the sunscreen that I finished up. I typically do that in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. First of all, I finished um, a shampoo and conditioner from Function of Beauty. I adore this shampoo and conditioner. I have it on like auto renew, fragrance free, dye free. My hair is just a lot more manageable. I see an improvement in overall shine um, and kind of bounce with their shampoo and conditioner. I really, really love it. Um, I also love the mask. Uh, I use that a few times a week. And I recently started using their hair serum. I do not know why I've been sleeping on that for so long. It really makes my hair super shiny and bouncy and soft, love it. I am trying out some new shampoos and conditioners and hair care products for a video I plan to do for you guys. I've been getting a lot of requests. Please uh, review more shampoos and conditioners besides Function of Beauty. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I love their hair care products, all of them. Speaking of hair care, I also tried out the sample of the Kristen S. The One Signature Shampoo. I had this, I've had it for a while. And because I'm not doing any traveling, I decided to start going through some of my travel size things. This shampoo did not lather at all. I was like, is this defective? Because it builds itself as a high lathering shampoo. Yeah. Um, I actually really liked the way my hair looked after shampooing with this. It's like a clarifying shampoo, so it removes any buildup. Um, my hair was like really manageable. It kind of had a nice wave pattern, but the fragrance was super strong and headache inducing. So. This was a fail for me, um, but I finished it. This, I adore. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost Overnight Hydration Cream. Oh my gosh, this is probably one of the best new products from Neutrogena. This differs from the Hydro Boost Body Lotion that I've talked about in the past in other videos in that it's got polyhydroxy acids in it, which really helps soften those dry patches and impart more long lasting hydration into the skin. And it also has hyaluronic acid like that, like the, like the Hydro Boost Body Lotion. Um, it's got petrolatum to seal everything in. I just really adore this. I actually think it's better in my opinion than the Hydro Boost Body Lotion, although I love that one too. Um, I've used this, I use this on my body and on my face. Uh, really works well and I have another pump bottle of it. I'm tempted to go right back to using it But I've been using some other body moisturizers that I have on hand that I need to finish up But yeah, as soon as I do I'm going back to this because it's really good speaking of impressive body Moisturizers I was taken aback although I don't really know why because her products are typically very good by this Josie Moran Pro wet pro wet <laughs> Pro Retinol Whipped Body Butter. Um, all right, first and foremost, this claims to have a Pro Retinol. It's pink algae extract. Like, do not be duped into thinking that pink algae is going to do what retinol does for the skin. It's just, you know, it's just a claim. So don't fall for that. Uh, so when I saw that, I was put off by this product, but when I started using it, I was like, wow, this is really good. I burned through it really quickly, um, as you can see. It has uh, that argan oil, I swear, it just gives the skin a really nice luminous glow. It also has shea butter in it to kind of seal in hydration. I mean, you put it on, your skin just kind of glows and stays moisturized. It provides long lasting um, kind of hydration. Your skin doesn't get filmy or dry. You know, some body moisturizers, they, I don't know, they don't really smooth things down enough. They just kind of make a film that peels up. Yeah, this doesn't do that. Um, I highly recommend it actually. It's free of fragrance. It's very good. I was, you know, I was pleased with this. I used it twice a day. After my shower at nighttime, I would put it all over my body and I, I would also put it on first thing in the morning allow it to absorb, which doesn't take very long. And then I would put body sunscreen on over it. It was sent to me as a gift, but I would definitely purchase this myself. Finished up two tubes of my Dermatonic Soothing Foot Cream. I adore this. It is an Amazon favorite. <laughs> you can get it on Amazon. Um, free of fragrance, it's got colloidal oatmeal and urea in it. it. Really helps keep the calluses soft 
Um, my toenails are, they're, they're looking so good. You could eat, you could eat pastry off of them. <laughs> uh, highly recommend this. Really good for getting that crusty stuff off of not only your heels, but just kind of around your nails, helping your nail polish go on better if you paint your toenails. With summer coming up, definitely try this. It's very good. Um, you know, I also use the Carousel Foot Ointment. That one's a lot more intense. This is good as maintenance. The Carousel Foot Ointment, you can't really do every day once you get through all of your callousy buildup, because if you do, then you end up developing blisters, or at least I do with all the running that I do. So I only do that like one or two times a week. This I, I do every day. My one gripe is I wish they had bigger tubes because they go through this very, very quickly. It's also really good as a hand cream, by the way. Helps your uh, fingernails, highly recommend it. It is an Amazon skincare favorite. I also finished the I'm From Rice Toner. I actually really enjoyed this. Rice uh, is rich in beta-glucans, which act as humectants to impart hydration. And rice water, you know, it's got antioxidants in it that can help fight off free radical damage. It may help improve skin elasticity, it has many benefits for the skin. Of course, you can DIY your own rice water uh, like masks. I have a video explaining how to do that, but this product is a lot easier. <laughs> I really, really loved it. This is just good for adding a little bit of extra hydration, smoothing out you know, some textural irregularities, and helping get through dry winter weather. Um, so I really enjoyed it. Actually, I have quite a few I'm From products. That and then the Fig Cleansing Balm. This is very good. It came in my Yes Style K-Beauty Advent Calendar and it does have fragrance in it. A lot of cleansing balms do. As I've said in other videos, fragrance is you know less likely to cause problems and things that you rinse off the skin. So I'm, you know, generally fine using fragrance in like wash off things. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you're allergic to fragrance then you'd have to avoid this, but long story short, it works really well. It's a soft balm. So it spreads out onto the skin pretty readily. You don't have to like work it into your hands or anything like that. I, I, yeah, I, I don't like firmer balms, if you will. Um, yeah, it spreads onto the skin very readily, very quickly and then emulsifies into a creamy lather with just a little bit of water to rinse off easily and take off your cosmetics, water resistant sunscreen. Yeah, this one came in that K-Beauty advent calendar, so I'm not sure off the top of my head how much it costs, but if I had to guess, I would say it's more affordable than the Colleen Rothschild one. So if you've used that and you're, you know, you're into cleansing balms and you're looking for something that may be more affordable, try this, it's quite good. I think you can get it on um, iHerb as well and it'll probably come much faster than ordering it off of Yes Style. All right, next from I'm From is their Vitamin Tree Water Gel. This is one I really wanted to like a lot, but it just kind of let me down. It wasn't a bad product, but it didn't, it wasn't something that I was like, oh, I need to keep using that um, once I'm, you know, I need to repurchase it. Um, I was excited about it though. I mean, it's got sea buckthorn uh, oil in it, which is rich in lipids and antioxidants, very good ingredient for the skin. It also has, I believe, licorice root in it. Um, and I, yeah, I had high hopes for this. It was a gel-like consistency. I mean, it's empty now, so you can't, there's nothing really left in there. It was a gel-like consistency, watery gel, just like the name implies. Um, you know, to me it was like not that much different than, you know, just a gel cream. Um, and I, I was just kind of underwhelmed by it. Um, I don't remember much about using it and, you know, it didn't cause any problems for me. So there's that, but it didn't, you know, it didn't wow me. The Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Ampule, I did make, make my way through that. You know, I love Centella. It's great for calming down redness, irritation. But this was, you know, I mean, I was like, am I just putting water on my face? <laughs> I really did not appreciate the kind of anti-redness soothing property that I typically get with Centella-based products. But I know it's really popular. I know a lot of people like it, find it's useful. I've gotten a lot of comments of people who find that it's useful as an aftershave, uh, which I can see how using, you know, using Centella after you shave uh, can be helpful for reducing like uh, sh uh, shave burn, shave burn, shave burn, what's it called? Razor burn, there we go. I don't know, for me, this was just like a meh, kind of like water would not repurchase. And if I remember correctly, this was not inexpensive. 
I also finished the iUnique Beta Glucan Power Moisture Serum. Now this I actually really did like. Uh, Beta Glucan is what's in oats and, and rice uh, extracts, rice water. It helps improve skin elasticity and it parts good hydration in the skin. It's a humectant. Um, so I would put this on to damp skin after cleansing and then follow it up with a moisturizer. I did see an improvement in skin texture, smoothness, and hydration. To me, this is the outcomes that I saw with this were very similar to the Aveeno um, Calm and Restore Oat Serum, which also, you know, is going to have that beta glucan component in it. Um, both, you know, are kind of comparable. Free of fragrance, um, this is not bad. I would definitely recommend it if you're interested in trying beta glucan in your skincare routine. It's actually a nice alternative. As a side note, for people who find that hyaluronic acid-based products cause irritation, that can happen because hyaluronic acid, um, you know, it kind of increases the penetration of other things. Beta glucan is a nice alternative as a humectant if you have sensitivity to hyaluronic acid. I finished up Neogen's Real Ferment Micro Essence. Loved this. It's comparable, in my opinion, to the Misha Time Revolution First Treatment Essence that I also like. It's a ferment, uh, which in theory enriches for antioxidants um, and humectants. I found that just patting this into the skin after cleansing really helped reduce irritation from cleansing. Uh, yeah, if you're interested in trying a fermented uh, humectant-based essence, try this. It's great layered under moisturizer. Um, and uh, you know, they do, they do a really good job with this. I think it has niacinamide in it too, if I remember correctly, which is helpful for calming down redness. I did a video comparing this to the Misha product. They're, you know, pretty similar. I think they're priced similarly. So if you like that and you're intrigued by this, definitely try it out. Finally finished up the Dermatology Age Reversal Neck Cream. I never thought I would use a neck cream, but this is good. Dermatology, they have so many good products. Uh, it's got peptides in it and shea butter. I really did appreciate a skin smoothing effect with this product. I put it on my neck and I was like, wow, my neck looks a lot better. It's temporary. It's not like a long-term sustained benefit, but you really only need a very small amount to cover your neck. I actually ended up using this on my face too as a facial moisturizer, just cause I was like, I'm never gonna get through this, uh, just using it on my neck and works well on the face too. Um, so I highly recommend this. It's very good. I think I mentioned it in one of my videos on getting rid of neck wrinkles or something like that. Two cleansers that I finished. One is the Paracone MD Acne Relief Gentle and Soothing Cleanser. This is just a 2% salicylic acid face wash. It's free of fragrance. It's good, it's not bad, but it's no different than any other salicylic acid face wash out there, except it's a lot more expensive. Um, I recommend the Zapset one, same, same active ingredient, also free of fragrance. This product, uh, it has an odd odor. It smells like an antique store. It has like a musty odor. Don't know why, but there's that. This is another product that came in my YesStyle K-Beauty Advent calendar that I ended up really liking. It does have fragrance in it. It is the Aromatica Reviving Rose Infusion Cream Cleanser. It smells like a rose. It's a nice creamy cleanser. It works into a nice lather and then rinses off. I would use this as a second step in my double cleanse for, you know, I use like the cleansing balm that I showed you first and then this to kind of remove everything else. Uh, it was very effective. Uh, I don't think this is too expensive, but again, it came in that calendar, so I don't know how much it cost. Um, this I had started a long time ago, but I love it. It's the Dear Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. This has always been a great product for me if ever I develop some irritation, especially on my mouth, around my mouth with the mask wearing thing. This has been really helpful. It's got centella in it, which is great for you know helping to facilitate healing. Um, it's got this uh, guaiazuline, <laughs> which gives it, I don't know if there's a tiny bit left here, it gives it this blue coloration. And that ingredient is rich in, that ingredient is rich in uh, antioxidants to fight off free radical damage and help with healing. You can actually use this all over the face as a moisturizer. It's just a little bit expensive to do that. Oh, it also has pep, uh, peptides in it for adding hydration and potentially facilitating healing. I have always loved this and I made it through another two. 
All right, and then I finished the Eucerin Q10 Anti-Wrinkle Face Cream. Highly recommend this. It is a great product. Um, it's a great moisturizer. Q10, ubiquinone, helps fight off free radical damage and can improve uh, you know, wrinkles. It's, it's truly an anti-wrinkle ingredient. Unlike vitamin C, it's very stable. It, it offers many, if not all, the same benefits as topical vitamin C, but without these like questionable stability issues. Uh, this product, you know, Eucerin, they don't have a bad product. The, this product's very good. It's free of fragrance. Um, it's just a very nice, rich facial moisturizer. I, not only did I use this on my face, I would use it on my neck, my chest, um, my arm, forearms too. Uh, so I used it to more than just my face. Uh, I would put it on in the morning, allow it to absorb fully. That way the UV quinone gets into the skin uh, in the morning and then you put your sunscreen on over. You kind of have two friends in the fight against free radicals. Okay, this one um, I got, I think Biosant sent me their Squalane Omega Repair Cream uh, a, long, a while ago and I shared it with you guys. This product, I don't know. I liked it, it was not bad, but I would definitely not pay the price for this. Um, Squalane is wonderful. It's like a nice lightweight emollient. I think this also, if I remember correctly, I think it has ceramides, but I could be wrong about that. It's vegan, it's cruelty free. It has this kind of stringy texture to it, um, almost kind of ropey. It doesn't peel off of the skin but it's just like kind of stringy. And you know, it's the kind of thing where you wake up in the morning, I guess it does pill because I would put it on at nighttime, kind of wake up in the morning and it sort of would have, you know, wrinkled up around my eyes almost. You guys know I put moisturizer, when I put moisturizer on my face, I put it on around my eyes. Like I don't, there's no need for a separate eyeball, eyelid moisturizer. This, this was fine, but it did pill up quite a bit actually. Um, so I don't know, it's just kind of a weird texture. It's just not, you know, you want your moisturizer to lie down and really trap in hydration, seal in trans epidermal water loss. This, I don't have much confidence in it. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's definitely not worth the price. So yeah, don't know that I would recommend that. Last but certainly not least in the skincare realm, I finished up the Hadalabo jelly oil this is basically an ointment um it's very it's a japanese version of cerave healing ointment yeah it's very much like the cerave healing ointment so you guys know i love that product and this is this is a good japanese version of that i also finished some mascaras i did the maybelline the colossal you guys know i've loved this for years it's very good so i finished that and then this came in the YesStyle K-Beauty Advent Calendar, and it was pretty good. Uh, you know, kind of comparable, actually, to the Maybelline Colossal. It's the Maison Collagen Curling Mascara. It was pretty good. Um, I don't know that I would go out of my way to purchase it, but it was not bad. I was sorely disappointed in this. I actually stopped using it. It's not an empty. I'm just going to trash it. It's the Lights Camera Lashes. I used this for a while and I was just like, what is the deal? I thought this mascara was supposed to be so good. It's clumpy. It's just like a ordinary, less than impressive drugstore mascara. Um, yeah, I was not, I did not. As a matter of fact, I've tried a few Tarte mascaras. The Man Eater one is terrible. But seriously, the best mascara, what I'm using right now is the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. That is so worth the price. It's a little on the expensive side, but it is seriously the best mascara I have ever used. I'm not wearing it right now. Somebody sent to my PO box a sample of the It Cosmetics Mascara, and I put it on this morning. I don't know how I feel about it, but suffice it to say, the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara, the liquid lash extensions, that is, that is a good mascara. All right, guys, that's everything that I finished up as far as skincare, some hair care products, and mascaras. Um, comment below what you have finished up recently. I would love to know. And if you like to see empties on a more consistent basis, follow me over on Instagram because I do share empties as I go through them on my feed through Reels. I will just like do kind of quick reviews of empties. I typically do those on Fridays. 
So check that out if you're you know interested in things that I finish up. Uh, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.